And I am back with a Insomniac streaming uh, streaming setup with the fact that it is currently 1.48 in the morning for where I am and I have irreparably damaged my sleep schedule. Let's... oh come on. Let's... okay. Okay, this is... that's an option. Actually, hold on. Let me just. Okay, this is an option. Honestly, it might be a good one. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll just do. Why is that completely unfilled? I'm not going to talk to. Yes, I know you're there. Just a second, you ass. Let me see what's around this corner. I really didn't. I mean, again, I was probably trying to do this really quick. Also, that wasn't a small amount of stuff. Hello, adventuring. Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Eh. Makes sense. Literally the, like, most important, one of the most important people, if not the most important person in the entirety of this planet, dead in front of you. Hell of a shock. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. But how is that possible? Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC. So they'd never lie. Eh. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. So where did she actually die then? Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Kind of. Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. Yeah, but I mean, the thing that I've seen and I know you know about basically bypasses that entire concept. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Mm. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. Can you actually even prove that? Lifford's death was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? If that's the case, I can't trust anyone, including you. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Thank you for... Everyone's got their own agenda. Thank you for at least being the most direct with just this warning multiple times, but I mean still. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you... I keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. You haven't told me a single detail of your plan, so you're in that same boat. Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? Ah, uh, something. Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. 
And there's no sign of any distortion drafting on. Mm. The IPC is not the garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. That is a very big ask. I told you, I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagony for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. You do right realize that the legacy and the ownership of the entirety of Pentagony, which is what, as far as I'm aware, that is, is probably the same thing is absurdly more likely than you think. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. Yeah. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. <sighs> what kind of help? But only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Okay. And now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Okay, do you think this is still a good idea? Since chances are they probably, again... Have both encountered death and probably has an easy way of re at least reenacting or having precautions against it. Ah yes, if someone gets caught by this, specifically the inner parts of the family, we have backups of ourselves, so we just roll back to a previous version. Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacony precisely for this very moment. Mm. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. So they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. Well, they're doing a terrible job if that's the case. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. Mm. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. Okay, but... Just a second. Okay, but better question. If the IPC is still treating this like it's going to be a frontier prison, are they just going to turn the literal vacation central into a prison again? Or are they going to keep it like vacations? Because I feel like there's a lot of issues that could come about no matter which way. You want to take advantage of the family's trust in us? Don't worry, just head back and talk things over with your companions. Okay, don't even give a shit about what I said, but fine. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Fine. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. How many credits are on this? So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Okay. Aventurine just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? 50,000? Motherfucker, I... Hold on. I had so much more than that. I don't see why you... 
Hello. This doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But a venturine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. Yes, I know, which is why I am not trusting him. Know about Miss Firefly yet. But judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. Yeah. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool, and working with him definitely has its dangers. Amos cannot turn a blind eye to evil. You're talking about real evil. Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. Yep. As for the other questions... Did death, ki did death kill Robin? I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Yeah. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Do you think this is connected to Acheron? Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. Yeah, and I know for a fact from the trailer that you decided to try to go into her mind, but um, yeah, that didn't work out so well. Did it. Without a doubt, she is the most special guest at this banquet. It's like a venturing said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. Mm. Have you have you noticed anything else unusual? Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Yeah. Two possibilities. The collapse of Penacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or, everything has been planned out and executed by someone. Yeah, and chances are that it's probably a bit of both. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately. First, a smuggler, then a family celebrity. Then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. Or maybe the opposite of family celebrity than a smuggler either way i don't have any other questions it's all happened so quickly i can only make a conjecture after leaving here go have a chat with your companions yep i hope you can clarify the source of this confusion hmm. leads you through the chaotic dreamscape okay This way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. We're literally jogging. Yeah. Here's all the corpses that Sam left. Why are we heading all the way over? Oh, into that this thing. Way. This is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. Yep. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. What? Gently touch the root of your ear, leaving a cool sensation, then hands a card over to you. There you go. A small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone, and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. I mm. also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Okay. Uh, I mean, thank you. Then I have something private to take care of regarding that galaxy ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? Okay. What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? 
I sincerely look forward to them. And we are out. Jordan, are we still at the hotel in the dream scene? Jordan, Jordan, have you run into trouble? We got separated in the member zone, but Jordan is with the member keeper. I feel so antsy. Help, March, stay calm. Do I need to get off the express at the hat and help? Not at the moment. Sure, just let me know if you need me. The Riviera Hotel in the real world is very calm. Not much is happening. I'm done. Sorry, where should we meet? Jordan! Jordan, it's great to see that you're safe. This lady didn't do anything bad, did she? I'm sorry about what happened to Firefly. It seemed to have been cor cordoned off by the family. We're wrapping up negotiations with some family delegates. Let's meet somewhere near the clocky statue later. A family wrap? Is Himiko okay? The hell is that? Wait, hold on. Is it... Oh, it's... Hold on. What is... Yeah, okay. Now it is... Oh, right, actually, I get a free check-in. God, four, another four wishes. 63 for free. I'm going to have enough to... We're probably going to get 100 by the end of the year. If not more. So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Yep. Some time ago, deep in memory zone. Deep in the memory zone? Perish that blade now, Ranger. Oh. Do you still dream, Hunter? Of those slain by your hand? <sighs> Days ago, Everflame Mansion. Oh. Oh, we're getting this now? We're getting, like, actual... Well, that's cool. Yeah. It appears the outcome has already been determined. Yep. You're still alive. As are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind. And then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Stranger, you tread the narrow path of the heart. You could never understand. Well, I mean, she's an emanator of nihility, so... We come from the fire, and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy until all Kindling has burned out, and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning mm. forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. Ah, shit. We are born practice a profile of another. Okay. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. Yeah. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young, I don't believe them. 
Okay, that's not really good reasoning. And time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that, I must surpass you. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanate. Okay. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists, just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Mm. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible something that is yet to happen. I mean, it is nice to get like a whole, not cutscene, but just the conversation of this happening. Also, fuck me. Why is my blood sugar just not, well, I mean, that's because I had my insulin be paused because my pump was too low. All right. I accept. You shall witness the most brilliant and intense May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. Mm. A bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. This yeah. blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but perhaps out of reciprocity. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of her sword. I'll the truth to you. That she's an emanator of nihility. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. May death be the end of your boundless dream, guiding you back to the waking world. I still see them in my dreams. Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. They can never cover up who a person really is. Mm. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the memo keeper away, but why? Uh, honor, I'm assuming. Did destiny slave make you do it? You know. Thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. Mm. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. It would be nice if we could get Sam as a playable character, but he knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then. I hold the privilege of choice. Mm. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Mm. Not your enemy, perhaps. Yeah. That's not what I asked. That's all you're gonna get. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Okay. Maybe I can help. What reason would 
would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So, I know who was inside that cold armor. <gasps> oh, okay, wow. That's... How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? Are we actually going to see that, or is it just going to cut away? Because I'm going to be a little bit disappointed, but I'll humor it. It's not yet time. Is it written in the script? I don't need help. But I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death? But they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Well, I mean, again, Mikhail. Already on it. Mikhail is, or Mikhail, is a character that definitely. Uh, well, I mean, one character got trapped in here, so. Well, at least you're getting that cleared up. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. I mean, I'm pretty sure the script basically is kind of in full support of that. In fact, I'm basically the main character in said script. At least, main character is the main character in said script. What's next, then? The trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? No need for that. No harm in mentioning Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. Yep. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Okay. Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Oh, an absurd amount. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. And that's probably because it's in specifically looking for a way for a single purpose. I knew it. Mm. Hang on. I don't. Don't. What? Your first question was, do you still have dreams about everyone who died? Because of you. Uh. I don't. Never have. Hmm. I was born without the ability to dream. I live with this cold, harsh reality for a little light and to burn to keep on burning. So, I really envy you. This is also giving a stupid amount of depth to character. Just off of this alone. Also, a little Triforce. Uh, actually, are these just like... Eh. Is that so? Mm. Then you're already living in the waking world. Well, that was a nice little scene that uh, I'm already a half an hour into this stream. Present day golden hour. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan, but we never expected Miss Robin to be dead. Oh, I'm sorry, but I couldn't be with you then. 
What the fuck do you mean? I didn't witness her death. I looked at the... Uh, right, you meant Firefly, not Robin. Sorry. Reality cruises on in serenity while underpants bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that mental keeper said. Yep. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Let's recap yep. everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. That's how it was put. In reference to Miss Firefly. And is also presumably put for Robin, considering Robin is not known. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Panacone's going to turn into a bloodbath. Sounds fun. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. Mm. They must be snowed under. It yep. may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. Yep. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. Uh, uh, Aventurine is on guard against Acheron. Indeed. He was particularly concerned about that Galaxy Ranger. Yeah, did we not tell them? Did did we not tell them about the fact that she's an emanator yet? Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? No. At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. That would be true. Look. Let's try to gather intel first, and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. And that is the wisest answer. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool, spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Yeah. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. But before we start. What are we going to say to the family and Aventurine? As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. Yeah. As for that Aventurine, well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. Yep. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. Yep. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. Yeah. So you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? They're going to be basically, what, double spying on both for ourselves? Yes. It's risky. But we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. Yeah. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. And I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. Eh. Third option is just weird. It, it, I mean, it's fine. I got a lot out of him, too. You... No, I can't accept this. Well, you're gonna have to. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we 
can just turn the tables and use him instead. Then could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. Yep. Very interesting subtext for that. Uh, honestly, biggest culprit is probably going to be Adventuring. Maybe... Honestly? Hell, I don't know. Besides that, we have side text up here. Collaboration. Well, Adventuring. Wonderful, your response came faster than I expected. From now on, we'll, we'll all be in this together. Here's a small something for our upcoming partnership. Oh, I want to say that so, Peppa. Thanks, boss. Oh. Yeah, and so her case is the only secret between us, but the other case, that depends on what the excuses you take my leave for now, and I look forward to outstanding performance to you guys. Did I get actually... Oh, I actually got that. Oh, that's nice. I'm not going to keep it. At... Wait, what? Oh, right. Hello. Avengerine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So, how does he plan on taking them down? It's gotta be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Perhaps he's going for the hotel? Attack on the hotel guests? Unlikely. Penacone's guests include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. Perhaps he's going for Akron? Adventurine has devoted considerable attention to her. But this galaxy ranger... We know hardly anything about her. No conclusions can be drawn I'm just yet. Just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Adventurine. He's scared oh. at leaving people and discerning the right moment to strike. Yep. Also... He's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. Yeah. Oh, Welt. Adventurine said something that concerns me. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking her. Yeah, that's probably the biggest concern and why, honestly. Was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. Mm. Ah, so he's bluffing. Shireen's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. However. I asked Don Hong back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. Yep. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? Honestly, just mysterious and aloof. I'm sorry? So the red text can affect us. That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, what is... Ah, Cosmo Odyssey. My actually, yeah, I'll do that first. Uh, uh, yeah, 40 minutes. Wait, can I just play it from anywhere? Yep, this time supply is 30,015 dice and three remote dice. That's good. 
Okay. Sure. Money. Damn. Okay. Right, you can now add stakes. If we spend extra trailblaze funds to add stakes, it'll play rewards. That's right, try your luck now. Ah, sure. Okay. Yep. Okay, now. Another good amount? Six. One, two. Oh, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eh, sure. Game. Start. Thousand plus extra amount. Okay, let's go more. Two. Oh, new home. Okay, yes. Twelve land tiles, and that is also a reward. Now I just need to get four more, and I'll be good. We proceed. Four. Okay, Greenfin account has been hacked. The hacker has sent a message saying that unless she gets fired, she can't let me check. What? Yep, the traveling merchant Locha has been flagged as a medical doctor, doctor after he displayed his li prolific life saving skills. Influx's influx of patients continues unabated, yet he is about to embark on his next journey. He must explain this, to, this clearly to his patients, and he needs your help. Just teach the people. You might have forgotten. You once had an unshackled friend. Nanan. He wants to invite you to do an unshackled friendship with that meat that you're not particularly interested in hopes of recon reconciliation. How would you consider this? What's the network without going with friends? Do I ever think about calling them unless you're giving up? <laughs> okay. Su Shang feels like returning to Yao Ching for a while. When you hear about this, please give me back some goods. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. 38,000. And Panacone. Okay, so. Ward. Yep. Yeah. So many. Okay, so there's one, two, one, two. So two, just for the property. And two for the shop. Yep. Let's go on. Two. Oh, another property. That's nice. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Forty thousand. Low number three. Okay, two. Twice. Forty thousand. And proceed. Five. And out. Or not out, actually. 80,000.
Another 80,000. Cute little Monopoly game. Hundred and sixty thousand. One, two, three, four. Sixty thousand is a pretty good amount. But oh sure. Okay. Oh, is that it? Oh roll the dice. Eh. Okay, land acquisition. Oh, two more. And just regular dice, since there isn't a whole lot in Oh, I just uh... Oh. Board encounter. You are meandering through the towering library, towering bookshelves of the Primal Waking Library. You wander the aisles and chance upon the Aeonic Research Shelf. Just as you are about to pull out a dusty leather hard, hard leatherback book, you hear a gentle whisper within earshot. Avery, Avery Rosewood's works are notorious for their obscurity. Oh, uh, Avery Rosewood's works are notorious for their obscurity. The Oak, fa Oak family had Sunday faintly smiles at you. Perhaps you need more elaboration? Uh, sure. Try my luck. Okay. Oh, sure. Why not? Yeah, that'll be good. Yep, proceed. A shop. Oh, remote dice, absolutely. Okay, how many do I need? Since I think land acquisition, I just need two more. I just need two more. So, two. One, two. Purchase. And let's just get it out of the way. And that is the entirety of this done. Now I basically don't have to buy any other properties. Watch me get four. No, I got another one. <laughs> uh, of course. Yeah, purchase it. Yeah, I... Sure, actually. One. Two. You may you find many wanted posters in Golden Hour. They all point to the same person, a tall, silver armored man with blazing red hair. As a part of the nameless, protecting the cosmos is is your duty. Will you find a way to track down the dangerous criminal? Commence your one day bounty hunter experience. Better hand him over to the Bloodhound Fanry. That'd be fun. You gain nothing. You found the Knight of Beauty Argenti. You found Sam the Celeron Hunter. Seven. You were Uh, no. We can go higher. Go higher. There we go. Receive. Oh, that is absolutely worth it. Alright, yep, and let's go further. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Game. Two. Start game. Let's see what we can get. A blue, do, and that. Okay. Okay, half decent. And it paid it, it, itself back. Three. One, two. Buffs obtained. Start game. Okay. Alright, two stars. Middle. Clover. Now I just need one more clover. I need one of any of them and I'll get... Okay, stars or clover is what I want. Uh, damn it. Eh, well, actually. Could have been could have been better, could have been worse, but it'll be okay. Roll the dice. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. A mood strikes you. You wish to experience everyday life in the streets beyond Panacone's Hotel, the towering luxury hotel that can always be seen from the narrow, gloomy alleyway alley to prevent you from getting lost. 
Just as you prepare to return to your temporary abode, a taut and dexterous but aging Doberman blocks your path. Its eyes are just as crimson, crimson as a patch of tough fur underneath its jaw. I'm a pet dog. Try one more time. Sure. I'm a pet the dog. I tried petting the dog. Didn't work. Or did okay. Huh. Need to one. Oh. You notice a stranger is stuck on one of Dr. Edward's dreamscapes. He's unable to end his own dreamscape. You will. I'll head into the dream and say stop dreaming. Set aside the compulsion to help him. Just uh, sure. It's like, I, I don't want someone to have be stuck in a dream. In the Pentagon dreamscape, you encounter a scene where a gang of family members of suspicion origin are harassing a dream chaser, saying that they have to pay the protection fee or lose protection. You want to intervene, but the dream chaser stops you. You are just passing by. Eh, sure. Eh, okay. At the Rivery Hotel, you encounter someone who wishes to invite you to Embrace Reality Association. They will regularly organize family gatherings. You think about it. Yeah, that sounds dumb. Okay. Many have come to the Golden Hour for the first time, and some will even ask you for directions. You feel... You're asking the wrong person. Oh, okay. 16 out of 50. Next stop... The space station. Let's just check the wards. Max up map exploration, and I do not. Alright, encounter. Oh shit. Collection. Six. Six. Oh. Sure. Try your luck. Okay. That's, that's good. Oh, it just... Okay, so... Uh, hold on. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, five. There. Yeah, let's see. Damn. Oh, wait a minute, I've just... Huh. That was actually almost absurdly lucky. So, question of that... Okay. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. The Astro Spirit Webberwoos run amok, which has since become a daily occurrence on the space station. Without prior warning, at this very moment, a shocking number of Webberwoos swarm into the zone and surround you. You are like a surfboard riding a wave, and they are like a wave heading somewhere. What will you do? Eh. All aboard the Webberwoo bus, get, w get in on the Webberwoo action. Oh. Keep moving for three steps. Let's see... Oh, I could get significantly better than that. Yeah, and I'll just treat to that. Two, three. Uh, assignment duration, friendship, suitable. Write music scores. Here go. Write a songwriter, write the lyrics. Plax one. Who's the best singer? Not Japard. Maybe that. And... Oh, you know what, Kafka? Yep. Reward. Yep. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Five? Yep, board encounter. You know, Herdra is super busy, but each time you meet, she always reminds you to test out the simulated universe if you're not busy. But now, the Herdra puppet before you is full of joy, warmly holding your hand, saying, 
Your charisma is just so breathtaking. It is simply my honor to greet you. What in the world is going on? There's never going to be a chance to do this again, so, um... You knock out the Xenohydro. Yep, and hold on. One, two, three, four. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Honestly, three. Yep. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, okay. Worse than last time, but still okay. Alright, so one, two, three. One, two, three. I don't know how I finished both times to just Damn it. Okay. Six hundred dice are used up, time to continue to travel base funds. Contribute. How far is that? Twenty eight point seven, return to main menu. Which is one oh, the that and that. Twenty eight Oh, is this the entirety of this? 28.7. That's a contribution. Hold on. Anyway. How much time is left? Almost done. Well. Firstly, get this. Nose. See that never sleeps. Stickers. You and note sticker. Hold on. Yep. Hello, March. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead, but that she's still alive and well. Somewhere. But everything's just some horrible prank. Eh, I mean, maybe. Because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Shouldn't only good things happen here? Again, it's not actually being dead. It's just you become brain dead. Or your entire consciousness just gets deleted. So take it as you will. Whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Mm. Do you think the family is behind all this? No, no. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. That's fair. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. I mean, that would be correct. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Mm. Uh, but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Miko, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. Okay. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? 